fault oh. contact. Nonconformity. Unconformity. That's the four. Four nodes in your brain. That's the four types of contact between rock bodies on geologic matter. Depositional contact, unconformity, fault, and intrusive contact. If you know those four, you know all geologic matter. That's the rest the, is the just colors. The rest is just colors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, the colors might indicate something horrendously complicated, but that's what all the line works. Between those colors is one of those four. And, uh, okay. Does anyone have any questions? So what we're going to do to finish up, you guys are going to try and, and sort of trace in this contact. You have it going that way a little bit. Um, and while we're doing that, in, a, in amongst doing that, I want you guys to divide up into, let's say, two groups. I want one group to stay here and go down past uh, uh, Kyle there and, find, and look at this quaternary stuff. It's less bleh down there. You can actually see things. And you guys have... It, you guys have read the chapter now on sandstones, conglomerates, and breccias, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's a conglomerate or breccia, and I want about half the class to go down there, wrap around the end, to describe that quaternary rock unit. The other half the class, I want, we can snake our way up on top here, and I will find another quaternary body for you guys to describe. So. And by the way, you're, you would start your quaternary map here. Let's see where we see the, uh, not quaternary, your intrusive contact map here. Let's you see also where have it your goes. Conformity meets, right? Yeah. So, a little too small to huh? show on your map. Oh, but it's really small. Uh, it's it's nice. Hot, it's hot. Ah. Not nice. <laughs> 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 Watch out, I'm gonna yeah, yeah. displace the dirt and it's gonna be harder coming up behind you. Yeah, I'll go the other way. Okay, where's the contact? Ah. Lots of andesite. Yeah, where's the contact? I can see exposed andesite there. It's got to be this side of that, right? Right. Can't see anything over here. Maybe we'll walk this way. And I will warn you, you get on this side, there's a little cliff, so please be careful. Yeah, I see some of it. Shale and sand here. And I very, actually, I don't want anybody getting it. It's undercut. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but look over there. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Shale, right? Yeah. Shale. What do we got over there? Be careful up on the tip there. Hey, don't, go any, don't go past me. It's uh, undercut a lot. What do we got over there? What's all that stripey stuff? I can't even see it. Uh, maybe I'm in the way. Somebody come stand on the rock and find what the stripey stuff is. I'm like, is anything stripey? Scale and limestone, right? All right. Is that the muletto person? It's probably muletto. Could be smoky town. Probably smoky town. Anyway, so we have. Uh, anyway, so where's the contact got to be? That way, right? Uh -huh. We got shale here, shale there. Now we got to go this way. We know 
shale here. We've got andesite here. Can you guys put a tentative line on your map now? Andesite, you can shale. Kind of see it. Remember, we were right back there. Yeah, so it's... So now, do you, if you can connect where we were down in the gully to somewhere around here, you can continue your intrusive line. And I'd probably keep us in the shale because I'm finding that stuff. Uh -huh. 